So Wernicke's aphasia um, is the primary receptive or comprehension aphasia. Um, and this is one uh, characterized by what we say is fluent speech. So there's no difficulty with the generation of the words um, and, the, and the sort of, um, you know, the, 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 the quality of the speech. People can, it sounds like they're speaking normally. In fact, the way you can really tell it's fluent speech is um, if you don't understand the language that somebody with Wernicke's is speaking, they sound like they're speaking fine. There's no problem whatsoever. If you do understand it, you do note a, a pretty severe uh, difficulty with um, uh, the content of that speech. Um, it's, it's fluent, but it is nonsensical. Um, and you can see that, hopefully, in the video that I posted online. Um, they have an inability to understand uh, or really express um, you know, uh, coherent language. Um, it's a disorder of language comprehension, specifically. Um, and it's you know, caused by damage to the posterior regions of the superior temporal gyrus, just posterior um, to primary auditory cortex. And what's interesting is that primary auditory cortex, which is the original you know, sort of receipt site for auditory information from you know, the, uh, the cochlea, uh, you know, via the medial geniculate nucleus, um, it gets distributed um, to a much broader set of regions uh, than just Wernicke's area. Um, lots of projections from you know, primary auditory cortex um, into sort of in, inferior temporal or, or ventral temporal regions um, that are involved in object recognition. Lots sort of um, heading more posteriorly into an area called the angular gyrus, which is you know, posterior to um, Wernicke's area. Um, some parietal regions too are also implicated in a more complex network. Uh, the angular gyrus has lots of projections into Wernicke's area. And then from Wernicke's area, there's a band of axons, you know, that, that sort of coalesce. They actually gather um, output from Wernicke's, but also from another, a number of other regions in that area, including the angular gyrus, um, and swing around um, sort of rostrally, uh, and then make connections um, into Broca's, um, but then also into other areas around that region, too, in the frontal lobe, including... Um, primary motor cortex. And that band of axons that sort of arcs around, you know, from the, uh, uh, from uh, Wernicke's up towards Broca's is referred to as the arcuate fasciculus.